New tonight, big plans revealed when it comes to the future of Omaha's library system. From new libraries to rebuilds to reanalyzing the needs of each branch, the decisions are the product of a year of engagement with the public. Brian Mastery joins us now live to break it all down. Brian. Lauren, it is a 20 year plan with a hefty price tag, $215 million, but that's if the city did everything at once. Mayor Stothert's quick to add these are simply recommendations and realizes a lot can change between now and 2043. She also points out Omaha's philanthropic community raised the money for this study in addition to the new Central Library at 72nd and Dodge and will obviously play a large part in the 20 year plan. 5,000 people took part in the survey looking at needs and wants and ways to be flexible in library design and opportunity for the next generation. Survey results found that it's not just about books and literacy at the library, but indoor and outdoor spaces, community gardens, kitchens, spaces for food trucks, workforce development, even childhood options. The facility's plan doesn't include closing any libraries and recommends major renovations at each branch, including building a new Southwest Omaha library. No site is set yet for that. Plus rebuilds at Willa Cather and the Elkhorn branch. Heritage raised the money to build the library at 72nd and Dodge, so it will be a partnership. It'll be a partnership between the city and Heritage. But even if we look at philanthropic help, to build these libraries and to upgrade these libraries, they are still city-owned libraries, and so the staff is still city employees. So the mayor says she is budgeting for that in order to stay fluid with the needs of each library. The decision-making process, I'm told, along with community input, is expected to take place every year. Lauren, Jacqueline, the mayor says the 20-year plan is equal parts practical and aspirational. Live in the newsroom, Brian Mastry, 6 News. Brian, thank you for that update.